Should you do fitness classes or personal training? As someone who has done and taught both, I get asked this question a lot. I've taught group classes at Lululemon, Core Power Yoga, and Barry's Boot Camp in the past, but I've also done personal training for hundreds of clients, both in a one-on-one -on -one and semi-private format. So here's my two cents. You should ask yourself what is missing from your current fitness routine. Are you lacking motivation? Are you lacking accountability? Do you need help implementing all of the information that there is on social media and condensing that into something that makes sense for you? Maybe you really want to make sure that your form is nailed down so you don't get injured. Maybe you have been injured before and you want to make sure that you're able to rehab an injury and not get further injured. I would encourage you to think about group fitness and personal training as two sides of a coin, two opposite ends of a spectrum, because the pros and cons for personal training are going to mimic the pros and cons in the inverse of group fitness classes. The pros of fitness classes is that they are going to be really motivating. You get yourself in an environment where other people are around you, you want to show off, you want to perform well, you don't want to be the one just laying there or not working out while other people are around you working out. You also have the community aspect. You get to show up, see familiar faces, see your favorite instructors, you get to go with your friends, you get to work out with your friends and then high five each other after and have a smoothie. And that's something that is an awesome element to fitness. And one of the most important things to being able to continue doing it long term is having the support of a community around you. I also think one of the big pros with group fitness classes, especially big chains, is that you're gonna be able to find them all over the country. You can go from New York to LA and still find that group fitness class and have a familiar product that you're able to consume over and over and over, which is ultimately gonna make it easier for you to stay on track when you're traveling for work or traveling for fun. On the flip side, fitness classes are going to really struggle to provide the form and the tailored support that you might need. In a class of 30 or 40 people doing dumbbell RDLs, there is no way for a teacher to give a cue that is going to fit to every single student at the exact same moment. And so any cue that they give is going to be helpful for 33% of the room. It's going to do absolutely nothing for the other third. And then for the other third, it's actually gonna be the opposite of what that person needs to do. And so you're not gonna get things tailored to you. You're not gonna get things tailored to your injury history. You're not gonna get things tailored to your needs. It's gonna be really hard to get form help and form support and avoid injury. I've also found it to be incredibly frustrating to wanna to work out at 6.15, only to find out that your class is booked and it was just simply a matter of you not logging on at a certain time to be able to do the workout when you needed to work out. Ultimately, group fitness classes are gonna be great at serving the masses and they're doing it at scale. So they're gonna have the community elements. You're gonna have the motivating elements, which is awesome. You're gonna have a lot of systems and corporate build out structures that enable you to be able to get a similar product over and over and over. On the flip side though, when you're trying to tailor things to a general audience, it's really hard to specialize. So you're not gonna get things tailored to you. And you'll see a lot of studios that say, we do yoga, cycling, strength training, HIT, and they'll claim to do seven or eight different things. But if you've ever gone to a restaurant that does barbecue and pizza and ice cream and all of these different things, if you do everything, in a way you almost do nothing at a really high level. So that's something else to consider that you might just be getting general fitness and that's okay if you're more focused on the community and the motivational factors and you're not worried about your form because maybe that's something that you know is good and you're not worried about progressing from a strength side of things because you're happy with where your body's at. But that's where personal training is gonna come in and be really helpful. For personal training, when you're hiring a good trainer and a good coach, your program and your training and your movements should all be tailored to you. You should be getting a lot more attention to the program that is designed for you. And also in the moment, you should be getting a lot more attention on how you're executing things, on how to manipulate your body so that you don't get injured and so that you stay safe. And I think that's one of the big pros to personal training and something that I encourage everyone at some point to do is learn from a strength coach, learn from someone who understands your body so that you can take that information and that knowledge and apply that in the gym for the next 60 years because you've learned the fundamental foundations of lifting heavy weights. I do think personal training does provide a lot of accountability and motivation, especially in the short term. If you don't show up to your personal training session, everyone knows. Trainer knows, you know, you don't get to hide in a room of 30 people and if you don't show up, it's only 29. It's also a lot more motivating to have someone counting your reps, to have someone standing there watching you. If you slack, someone else is gonna know. And typically it's someone that you look up to, someone that you respect, and so you want to perform your best for them. However, I do also think that that can end up being a con and a double-edged sword. 
Because if you rely on your personal trainer for motivation, if you rely on your personal trainer to show up at 6 a.m., when are you gonna be accountable to yourself? When are you gonna to learn to push yourself? Because odds are you aren't able to train with your trainer every single time you work out. You likely can't afford that. Maybe you can, but 99% of people can't train with someone four times a week and be paying thousands of dollars every single month to have someone work out with them. So at some point you have to work out with yourself or train yourself and have the motivation, have the accountability, have the integrity to make sure that you're doing things the right way and not relying on someone else. I also think that you can run into a lot of scheduling issues. I know that's one that I personally struggled with a lot with clients in the past. They're traveling, I'm traveling, we're trying to line up this 6 a.m. time frame. There's only five days in the work week. If they're not in the city during that time, it becomes a really hard thing to schedule one-on-one -on -one personal training sessions. And if you're gone for vacation, well, now you have two weeks where you're not working with your trainer anymore. Both of these can be great options for you. You just gotta understand what is the most important thing for you. And to that point as well, if you have a goal of body composition, you're trying to lose fat, you're trying to build muscle, you also really need to make sure that nutrition is something that you are taking a look at because no amount of group fitness classes, no amount of personal training can help you get over any nutritional deficiencies, any lifestyle deficiencies that you have. And so if you have a body composition goal or you have a specific performance goal, I actually think that personal training and group fitness classes would both be a disservice because if nutrition is something that you need, you need someone that can specialize with your nutrition. If you need a specific training goal that you are targeting, let's say it's a marathon, let's say it's a high rocks event, well, you wanna hire a coach that specializes in that. And now, like I said, I've done personal training, I've done group fitness classes. I think they both can be great. I think they both have a ton of value when the specific method is applied to the problem that you're trying to solve. And you can do all of it, right? You just gotta do it all at the right times. I like having group fitness classes, something that I do once or twice a week as a way to go and have fun with friends. I also like having a structured training program, whether that's something that I'm doing with a coach, with myself, or with a personal trainer if that's what you're doing, as the other times when you're doing something that's maybe a little bit more strength-based, maybe a little bit more tailored and specific to what it is that you're working on. If you do wanna work on a body composition goal, or you do wanna have something that's a little bit more tailored to you so that you have the accountability, but also have the autonomy to really step up and learn and grow into someone who's leveling up in their fitness, that's where my high performance health program comes in and that's really where I've found my sweet spot to help clients the most. And if you wanna learn more about that, you can click down below in the description to see a link to my seven day kickoff program. That's something that you could just learn from for free or you could schedule a call and talk about what that program would look like specifically for you. Thanks for watching. If you got value out of this video, drop a note in the comments and hit that like and subscribe button if you wanna catch more videos in the future. My name is Paul Klingen and I'll see you on the next Return of the Athlete video.